agreed to set up a committee that would establish a case for reparations. The Gambia will seize the Makati Island by centenary celebration to use its diplomatic, intellectual, and cultural advantage to promote reparations agenda. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, last October, I observed that it is rewarding for a nation to reflect on the past in order to chart the way forward for a better future. For this reason, my cabinet worked closely with the National Organizing Committee. Stakeholders and the communities of the area to hold this grand commemoration. As a result, among other attendees, the festival has brought together Gambians at home and those in the diaspora. In addition to friends of the Gambia, historians, tourists to participate in the healing, reconnection, reconciliation process through our shared history and heritage. I am pleased that the organizers are involved, not only artists in the Gambia, but also those in the sub-region and beyond in the activities for peace and reconciliation. It is highly commendable that regional unity and integration will be highlighted during the festivities. This will reinforce the integrity, the intensity of the messages and impact of the events, which future generations will surely acclaim forever. Distinguished guests, besides the express objectives of the festival, we are celebrating hope over despair and indifference, growth and progress over stagnation and submission, and unity in diversity over intolerance and instability. This is an important message for everyone, especially the African youth. The Westerners who landed in Janjambre 200 years ago made the best out of a very bad situation and ended up building homes and careers for themselves and their offspring. The lesson for our youth is that we must strive to succeed in the country. As we put it, take it. The initial of boarding boats to cross the rough waters of the Atlantic for life abroad is most unnecessary. Like the Western settlers 200 years ago, let us stay in our homeland and exploit the numerous opportunities available to build better homes, uplift our lives, and support our families. My government is aware of the roles that our heritage and culture can play in job creation and the economic well-being of our youth. This partly explains our commitment to the festival, and it will not end here. We will build upon the lessons and success stories of the bicentenary and further promote the heritage and artistic sectors for the gainful employment of the youth. Through support from UNESCO, the Ministry of Tourism and Culture has developed regulations for the National Endowment for Arts and Culture. The instrument will attract funding through grants for artistic and cultural projects. The island of Janjambre will also to continue to receive the attention of the Gambia Tourism Board so that all the interesting heritage sites and cultural products will be fully upgraded and valorized to generate jobs through heritage, tourism, foster national unity, and project a positive image of the people. Okay. Esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, the moment offers me the opportunity to convey gratitude to all the 
committee, committed people who work, work to make the festival a success. They cooperated with the national and local organizing committees, for which I thank every one of them. Their efforts are warmly appreciated. And the list includes the Honorable Minister of Tourism and Culture for his strong leadership. The chief and elders, the women, youth, inhabitants and residents of Yanyamure. To the Gambia Tourism Board, the NCAC, the governor, and all the very able partners, sponsors, and artists, I express profound thanks to you for a job very well executed. With these remarks, it is my honor to declare the Janyambure Bicentenary Festival officially open. I pray that we have a peaceful and successful celebration marked by festivities moment on this historic island. I thank you for your kind attention. Mal it don't be a me along co, it parata procasin and Africa. Ye assigned in an Sanji came full of commando, came Murundinani, Island of Jaika for Dame, Janjambure, Makati, and in Joy Town. Robimu Lumkuma Baladi Lumome along co Nyanta Jura Lale, Purka Natari Colo, Kalamunetan be the coma, Nialo Mentan be the coma. Nila Tari Colum, a Kekaran de la Sama and Yanta Tablu Jamalatal. What a Kabrin Kunum, more Kendal de Kerinum, more de Kerin and Melia Lanco Yella Banco Canu. Wolmumol de Mealonco, Ye Mutanu Jacuta Kunta Bol Lecono, a Tobota Bake, Mealonca, a Keloke, Pura Muruna la Banco, Ademana Muruno, but a Molbi Jame continent of Kerola for another Muruni Banco Ganja. Wato onyanta gambia ngol karandila mune mode nyantela banko kanula banko kanu mu di knowledge banko kanu mu ifa wala kanole na miral nyati fata nole bari banko wala kanoto ndel be nyanta kanya na wala le ndel be nyanta kile kline di bakilin fakilin nana banko do do wala ke ndi kabirin kumandiro ke da ni minister dia ngo danga ya kana motu koma Masa Kundao, opposition over, civil society over, Femme Mayal, Gambian Colomuni, Femme Mayal of Africa, and all the Muni, and Guy Commander of Mobi and Edam. Inshallah, Hundred Line, Contanda, Molna Edam. Near Commander of Moldan Kundadrom, in Yanta Seola. What on the Gambian call ten to the back, Katom and Kedanindo, but ten Rokono, men in Konya Ronga, or a hundred minister Amar El Keva. I tend to back another team of Molbe and the Momo may cut okay for me, Lumosikin. Especially Momelia Longo, Yela Semboki, Momelia Longo, Yela Navlo Franki, for Mutter B. Lumot. What a B. Mukonda and Lumalti, let a Femme be young Albeta Seori, Programo Kata B. Fosama and the Continental, Nalbijan Fosama, the Lever Continental Jang for Porto Judo and Limbara Slavari. Of Senegal. 
His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia. Our Excellency, former Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia. President of ECOWAS Commission. Right Honorable Secretary General of the Commonwealth. Excellencies, honorable guests, distinguished personalities, public officials present, members of the national and local organizing committees, traditional and religious leaders, the cultural groups present, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted and privileged to welcome you all to Yenyambre, especially those who travel long distances to attend this historic event. In particular, allow me to welcome the Senegalese Prime Minister, His Excellency Amadou Ba. And the high level delegation representing my dear brother and colleague, His Excellency Mr. Nakisal, President of the Republic, Sister Republic of Senegal. The presence of this Senegalese high-level delegation once again manifests the bond of friendship and good neighborliness President Sal holds for the Gambia. I must reiterate our shared belief that the people of Senegal and the Gambia are one people in two states with similar values and cultures and stick by each other in thick and thin. To you, Son Excellence, Muse Prime Minister, I warmly say Dallem Akjama, Mirmi Yunyokopo. Excellencies, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, history teaches us that about 200 years ago, the island of Janjambure was transformed from a peaceful Gambian settlement to a trading center for the British under Queen Victoria. It eventually hosted many French and British farms and was renamed Makati Island, with a part of it called Georgetown. It's a settlement with three names, Janjambure, Makati, and Georgetown. As we have it on record, Thousands of Africans who were freed from the transatlantic slave trade bound for Freetown, Sierra Leone, were resettled here in Georgetown. We are in this historic town, therefore, to celebrate its bicentenary on an island where hope was restored. Captured Africans who were unjustly seized unjustly treated and unjustly removed from their homeland and families without any regard for their rights and dignity. On account of this, it is with mixed feelings that we have organized this historic festival to remember the events of the mid-19th century because of the cruel acts of that dark era. 
Africans have been forced to demand reparations from those who took part in the transatlantic slave trade. Excellencies, distinguished guests, it is a welcome development that the African Union, the United Nations, and some African countries have already started to ask for reparations. The African Union, for instance, has in the past two decades led a strong and persistent campaign on reparations for slavery as a basic human right for Africans. Coming home in 2022, it's 73rd ordinary session held in Banjun, the Gambia.